All right. Hello. Can everyone hear me? If anyone's even here yet, I don't know. I think I'm early, but you know. Oh, awesome. Better early than late, as I always say. Well, I guess, how how is everyone? Oh, well, uh, thank you. Hello, friends. Ciao! Ciao! I'm here! I'm here! I'm yeah. here! Ciao! Italy, we know you're here. Hello. Ciao! Yes. Hello. Can, I, can everybody hear me okay? I can hear you, if, if okay, that matters. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Where's my sorella? Where's Romana? I think she said she might be a minute or two late. Yes, she said I'll be ready in a few at six o'clock. Oh. It is now 6.02, so hopefully at 6.03 she'll be on. Oh, okay. That's perfect. No perfect. So, how is everybody? Good, good. Bene. Molto bene. <laughs> oh, if you have any questions for us, just ask and we will answer. I yes, we yeah. Italy, you should you should sit still. You're making me dizzy. Oh, I barely moved them anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm like a table tennis match. Just watching you. I don't like table tennis. I don't like many sports. They're stupid. They make me very tired. I'd rather sleep. Did you work out today? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I did! Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I did a, a five, no, ten push-ups today. Ten push-ups. All right, so we're going to have to double your training tomorrow, just so you know. Well, Germany, I don't like training. I want to sleep and have pasta all day and just hang out and, and go see everybody, like hang out with my sister or, or, or with big sister Spain or something. I don't want to do the training. There's nothing wrong with doing those things. It's just that, you know, it's good to stay in shape, so... Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has any questions for us. Well, your sister hasn't joined us yet either, so. Mm. <laughs> Why don't we, we work, work out, out together? together a lot. Yeah, we we always work out together unless I'm sleeping. Yeah, but this lately we haven't seen each other. <laughs> um, how do you normally spend your downtime? Uh, I read, or uh, sometimes I'll just go for walks with my dogs. You know, it's very relaxing. I take long naps for hours and then I make pasta. I perfect my cooking in pasta and all sorts of things. Sometimes I'll visit Big Sister France or Big Sister Prussia or Big Sister Spain or like all these people and hang out and have a good time and teach everyone how to make good, good Italian food. That's what I do. <gasps> we can 
big, oh, big, oh, Fran Francis just said, you should come by and I can make you both French cuisine. Oh, that would be so good. I would love that so much. That oh. is very nice of you. Thank you. I think we'll possibly take you up on that, but not all the time because French food is <clears throat> fattening. <laughs> if you had to eat one food for the rest of the life, potatoes. Potatoes? Yes. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, hello. We're answering a question. Uh, what food, if you can only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I say pasta, but that's kind of, I always say pasta, so I'll say lasagna. I can't live without pizza. I'm sorry. <laughs> pizza is good. <laughs> what are other nations called in your phone? Hmm. Oh, um, I just put their names, but no. I put Big Brother, Big Brother, or Big Big Sister Spain, or Big Sister whatever, or just Germany. I'm not answering that one. <laughs> Why not? Because that's private. In my phone, um, I have just Italy and One moment. just normal names. But mm. yeah, I, I don't think I have any. I I, I put um, Prussia down as um, sister, but other than that, it's it's pretty normal because I think it get confusing. Mm. Thank you, France, again. Just very complimentary today. <laughs> Wondering about that. But. Lasagna is still pasta. Yes, it is. It's a type of pasta. But, you know, it, you know if I couldn't pick pasta, then I'd have to pick pizza, or I'd have to pick um, pizza, pasta, that's it. If you were deserted on an island with one person, who would it be? Germany! Germany, Germany, Germany! It's Spain. No, actually, I don't think that's a good idea. Cause that, that happened once, and I... We made it through, it's okay. Barely. We barely made it. <laughs> um, I guess I'd say Prussia. Sorry, Italy. You wouldn't pick me? I... <laughs> Tragic. My heart hurts. Alright, no, I... Italy, you're still a very... You're still my friend. Like, we're, we're still best friends. It's okay. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll do the thing. Yeah? <gasps> How do I do it? I don't know which side you're on. I just... Hi! Yeah. Okay. Is everything better now? Yeah. We don't have any more questions. What are we gonna do? <laughs> What's so funny? I don't know. What? What? Pickup lines? I don't know. I only know really good pickup lines, so. Can't answer that? What? <laughs> I, I think you should, because I don't think 
that all of them are as good as you think. <laughs> They're all really good. Um. Romana, do you have any? Well, I guess the few times I saw my sister growing up was nice. <laughs> Worst. Sorry. <laughs> um, I think we skipped. What is your least favorite color? Least favorite color? That would have to be black because it's so boring and dark. I like bright colors, like white, like this best. So, because I like light and bright colors and happiness and anything black is kind of sad, I guess. I don't really dislike any colors, but my favorite is red, if you haven't noticed. Red is a good color. Good color on you. I'll say that. Thank you. Um, for me, I, I think liking and disliking colors is kind of a strange thing. Like, they're just colors. Um, I guess I'm kind of fond of green, but as for not, uh, maybe orange is a little too bright for me, I guess. But... I don't really have a preference or distaste for it. Any memorable times you had with your sibling? Hmm. Well, I think I Romana I and I hung out when we were younger. Did you yeah, you that? you answered it, Romana, but um. We didn't yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We didn't yet. Oh, well. Hmm. I liked cooking with Romana a lot when we were younger. That was always fun. And visiting our grandma was very nice as well. <laughs> grandma Rom. Um... For me, I have a lot of memories with um, Julchen, and we got along well. I mean, we fought a lot, but we also got along really well, as most siblings do. And um, I enjoy our, actually, beer drinking competitions that happen pretty often. It's pretty fun, especially during October 3rd. One. So. Who won the drinking contest? I can't pick one. Oh, who won? <laughs> she likes to say it was her, but that's just her awesome ego getting in the way of the truth. I okay. If you could change one thing in your past. Um, I know I'm not supposed to touch on this subject, so I'll just say it really quick. Um, Holocaust, I'd change all that. I think I I'd I take back... Spent more time. Go ahead. Oh, all right. I think I take back anything that has to do with Mafia, because it pretty much screwed my side of the country over. I think... I wish I could have spent more time with Holy Rome before he disappeared, because we had a, got a lot of fun times together, but 
I wish I would have seen them more. Daniel knows. Romana, do you enjoy me? Ocean. I don't know, Romana, do we get along? I don't know if I should take that as a no or what. My computer froze. One moment. She's avoiding the question. So that's that's <laughs> the truth here. Um, I try to be civil. At the beginning of conversations, it starts out civil. And then uh, usually it evolves into her swearing at me. But, you know, we're working on it. Um, should we answer the next question? Um, sure. Best relationship outside of family. Well, everyone knows I already have a good relationship with Germany, but I also have a good relationship with Japan and with Big, big Sister Spain and all those people that make me so happy. They're so lovely and wonderful and everything. I'm sorry for that. What, what were we talking about? I was asking you if you and I get along. I can play you. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and now we are asked best relationships outside of family. Uh, I think it's obvious that okay. Italy is one of my best friends, but um, other than that, I would say Japan. True. I think all I have to say. Best talent. Are you still thinking? <laughs> uh, I'm a hard worker. Is that a talent? <laughs> I suppose you're good at building. Does that say something? What about the As for me? Cooking? Mm -hmm. Definitely. However, you're very talented. <laughs> you can sing, you we can dance, you can cook. <laughs> That's true. I like singing. I sing a lot. I tell you songs, everything. Mm, it's fun. Italy. Now it's not ah. the time to start singing. Ah. This is a conference, a panel where people ask us questions. You can't be singing. Um. Wish you would take things more seriously. We're just hanging out and answering questions, right? It's not really well, like... It's an informative <laughs> panel. People want to know what we have to say. 
They don't oh. want to hear you sing. I don't think. Oh. Well, okay. <laughs> Honey. What kind of job would you have if you weren't countries? That's an interesting question. Yeah. I think for me, I would really like to be like a personal trainer at like a gym for people and get get everyone like on a diet plan and into shape and like all that and do like nutrition and like uh, just all that stuff, all the proper exercise. I think that would be really fun. Nice. Um, what about you, Romano? I'm not sure. I'll have to get back to you on that one. Hmm. And you? Uh, oh, I don't know, maybe. Oh, I'm so stuck. Because I would love to be a chef or like someone that works in a restaurant. Or I would love to be like a fashion designer and like doing all that fun stuff and getting girls to wear pretty dresses and ah, that would be so lovely. But I think I have to go with being a chef. Happiest time with your sister. I suppose being united with you after all those years. Mhm. Mm Definitely. Singles for you. I agree. Oh. Yes. Actually, you Germany. Mine would be similar too. Yeah. Um, reunification of Germany when um, Prussia and East Germany and West Germany after the Berlin Wall fell, we got to see each other again. It it was sad, but it was also very happy. You know, it it was a bittersweet moment, I guess. Wasn't that very long ago, was it? Nice. It wasn't. What's the worst meal you've ever eaten? England's food. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> hard to beat. Um, I think one time when I was visiting America, I tried some pasta from a restaurant and it was not pasta, okay? Like, it was not what I was like, expecting, okay? It was disgusting, like... No offense. Where, where in America did you go? Because I heard I that, like, North End and other places have, like, good Italian food, but I, I could be wrong. Was it one of those food chains? It was really gross, okay? Like, it was like... It looked like a fancy Italian restaurant, you know, in Boston, but... I didn't like it, okay? Like, first of all, there wow. was only one course, okay? They didn't come out with, like, five courses, which is not what you do when you eat pasta. You're supposed to have pasta as an appetizer. They gave me as my meal. I was like, excuse me, like, where's all the chicken cutlet? Like, where's all the other food I'm supposed to eat? Where's the dessert? Like, I had to pay extra for that? Like, I don't get it. They don't do it right. Did you tell America she has a... Uh Shouldn't get her started on America. Uh, I I didn't tell her. I just you know ate it and it was fine. And I got sick afterwards. Okay. Don't give it to me and my food. That's true. You know, if you don't do it right, you know, it's really not okay. 
Yeah, I tried to limit your pasta intake one time and that didn't work out. No. Favorite mortal or mortals? I don't like to pick favorites. <laughs> Haven't met a mortal that became my favorite. No. Anyone else? Yeah. There's too many people. There are too many people that that I've met that I can't like they're all really good friends of mine, like when they lived and in the past and stuff. It's been great. Uh I can't say one that's my favorite. However, recently, I've been really well acquainted with the Italian um, group there. You know, Il Volo, that like sing, those three guys that sing. Like, we hang out a lot, and I like visit them, and they're really fun and talented and very handsome. So I love watching their performances and speak in Italian. And, ah. I do as well. What about but the Vinci? Just someone I've, people I've known now, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, let me see. You you had to sing for Michelangelo too, didn't you? She was just a child then. I really don't remember much. Do you even have to? Same. Obviously, Mussolini. I mean, are you joking? Yes, I don't like talking about those people. I'd rather forget about them. They're in the past. Bye! Did you just dab? What? I thought you just dabbed, oh. sorry. I must be spending too much time with America. I saw, I saw you dabbed. You were like... <laughs> oh, do, do you mean the thing that, that, that America taught me? He was like, she was like, she was like, do you want to know a cool way to salute? So I was like, okay. And it was... <laughs> she taught you. It was so fun. It was like... Oh yeah. my, my gosh. It's like... You're like, next time I see you, Germany, I'll just go, <laughs> nine. If you do that, that I will so smack fun. you in the face. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it's funny. I think everyone should say it that way. No. No, you can't make me. No. <laughs> no. Romana and I are in agreement. You guys are no fun. Any crushes? Any crushes? Uh, I don't really have time for those sorts of things. Mm. There's no crushes, but I suppose Belgium is quite handsome. Mm. Yeah, he is. That's nice. Can you think of other guys that I know? They're all very handsome. And Hungary has an age today. Yeah, that's what I was, yes. Oh, Hungary. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Have we had any pleasant dreams lately? Yes! Okay, so last night I had a wonderful dream, okay? So listen, okay? Everybody listen. Okay, so Germany was there, Japan was there, Spain was there, France was there, Romania was there, literally everybody was there that I love, okay? And we were all having this huge feast, okay? Like, 
huge feast and I was cooking all the food, making sure everybody was eating enough, I'm not, I'm not, making sure everybody was eating enough, like manja, manja, everybody eat, okay. It was so good, I remember eating it, it was delicious. And then everyone lived happily ever after because we were all really happy and we all had good relations and we all just made an agreement not to have war and it was beautiful. And then I woke up. You could just ask us to come over any day. True. But the part about no war anymore, that's not really true. So, like, it's hard to, like, you know, that part's not true. But, yeah, I could still have make a big feast and everybody can come over, but people are still going to argue and, you know, it's going to be pretty crazy. So I don't know if I want to do that because then everyone will just fight instead of eat, you know. I suppose you're right. I haven't had any dreams lately. Just a good sleep. Uh, I'm in agreement with Romana. I don't normally dream, and when I do, I usually have uh, not pleasant dreams. So not dreaming is good for me. Or dummy. Well, it's it's not often. It's just I don't normally dream. I don't see what's weird about that. Are you still a light sleeper? So, so wait, so, so how, how do you know how I sleep? Well, you said I used to be sleeping there. Okay. Okay, so that just got weird for a second, but alright. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very important not to overeat. Um, I can't eat too much. You have I need to watch my figure. A day and you have certain portion sizes. <laughs> Uh, um, I've actually, uh, had, you know, like, a lot of food in one sitting, like, like, I'll have, like, courses, you know, in Italy, we have a lot of courses, like, courses come out and food and food and food, but there was one time that after I woke up from a siesta, I was really hungry, so I finished off the entire pound of pasta that was left over from the night before. In one sitting. <laughs> Italy. That's, that's unhealthy. Well, I was really hungry, okay? Like, it you was should okay. have eaten something healthier. Like what? Fruit. I wanted pasta, you know? But you so, always want pasta. Because it's the best thing on the planet. Okay. It's okay though. I'm still, I'm still, I think. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still slim. So, don't matter. Uh, Germany. Me, where and how does your sister live nowadays? Jultrin lives with me. Um, contrary to popular belief, she doesn't live in my basement. We just live together. Like, it's just normal. Like, she has one bedroom, I have another. We share a kitchen, we share the rest of the house. And um, she does help. She still technically is East Germany. So she helps or is supposed to help with the paperwork 
for that side of the country. Um, but often she just leaves it to me. Um, so she doesn't do as much work as she should, but, uh, I mean, I would still go over her work and correct it anyway, if she did do it, to be sure that it was right. Anyway. Have you ever thought that paperwork is not what she needs? Okay, are you trying to, like, tell me how to take care of my sister? Like, what? what's, what's the big deal here? <laughs> Perhaps she needs yeah, to do something but more right active. Now, there's no war. She works out with me sometimes, most of the time. Um, and paperwork has to be done no matter what. Like, there's always going to be stuff that you need to do for your country, and some of it is boring. But you know, you got to do it. She can't just be like, oh, I, I can't do paperwork, so I'm not going to do it. Sorry, I, I got a little unprofessionally sassy there. Oh, oh, oh it was fun to watch. <laughs> what kind of you should do that more often. Italy, you're moving around again. Sorry, oh, one of the songs is stuck in my head. <laughs> Is one of the Italian songs you've been th singing? Yeah, see, I love it. It's a classic. Any hobbies? Huh. Did, did I answer that? Did we answer that question already? I don't remember. No, it was like, what do you do in your free time? I think uh, was the other one. Right. Um, so, any hobbies? Um, I sleep. Oh yeah, no, I did answer this because I said <laughs> I said working out, right? Yeah, I think so. And I said <laughs> cooking or sleeping. Yeah. How how many I have a question. How how many hours a day do you two nap if you could? Like if you have the time. <laughs> How much? Sometimes it's like, like six hours. Six. Six hours napping or sleeping? Napping during the day, six hours at least. <laughs> If you had to pick one animal which you don't already have as a pet, what would it be? Um, that's a good question. So I love dogs. I already have dogs. I would say birds, but um, Julchen already has birds, so that means I already have birds. Um, I guess horses, maybe? I like horses. I have a cat that sleeps most of the day. However, I think I would prefer a dog. A small one. Though. Oh! I think I already have a kitty. A kitty cat. And I love it to death. I would 
really love to have a little puppy. That would be adorable. But I mean, I come over Germany's house so much that basically her German Shepherds are basically my dogs because I feed them every day and I feed them lots of treats and give them lots of food and they love it. You, you should not, you shouldn't spoil them like that. Uh, they love it. They, they love me. If I don't, you know, that's boring. I want to be a fun, like, aunt. A fun aunt to the, to the little puppies. Germany, have you seen your dogs? They're quite big. Like they're... <laughs> yeah, yes, they are. They're, they're big dogs, but still, too many treats makes them sick, and I don't want them to get sick. I think you spoil them. What is your ideal date? Wow. An ideal date would probably be, I would say going out to eat, but I feel like no one can really cook as good as me, not to be as, you know, high and mighty. But I do think a good date would just be feeding my partner of whoever and feeding them my pasta and talking over a movie. I think mine would have to be an evening out in the town. Um for myself, I I kind of liked the idea of um, getting up early to watch the sunrise, like go, going um, by a lake maybe and taking a walk in the nice morning air and watching the sunrise. And I, th I think that would be simple and peaceful and very nice. That's so cute. I love that. You wouldn't get up in time, though. Would you make them trade yeah. with you afterwards? <laughs> Maybe the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd go for a long walk. Like, maybe we'd hike up a mountain and then watch the sunrise or something. We'd have to get up really early. <laughs> uh. Favorite memory. memory of paternal figure or parent. Well, I think, yes, yeah, see, yeah. I love Grandma Rome because she would tell us lots of stories and we would hang out and she would talk to us and tell us about her life and it was very fun to listen to her. Can you, Germany? Um, I can't really remember much. Um, to be honest, uh, Jules was kind of like the only... I don't want to say parental because our relationship was never that way, but she really raised me when we were younger, mostly. So I guess... Um, just she would always make me laugh if I got hurt so I wouldn't remember like like if I scraped my knee or something she would just make it a silly game and I would laugh and that was fun yeah. but. oh uh um <clears throat> I I have been uh, <clears throat> learning 
um, Italian a little bit. You've been learning Italian? Yeah. I, I thought that would make you happy, so. <gasps> what do you know? What do you know? What do you know? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, tell me. How much you learn? Um, just a little, uh, ciao, come stai, piacere, uh, um, quanti anni, um, uh, uh, mi chiamo Monica, uh, yeah. <gasps> Impressive. Hey, why'd you want to learn Italian? Thank you. <laughs> I, I hope my pronunciation wasn't too terrible. It was so good, Germany. Oh, that makes me so happy. <gasps> I gotta teach you more stuff. Well, I'm... Oh my gosh. Okay. So the trainer becomes a student? Time. Well, <laughs> if I can train you physically, Italy, you can train me on Italian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will, I will. That'd be so fun. Okay, we start tomorrow morning, Um, well, actually, like, noon when I wake up, and we can start with verbs and um, and also maybe some adjectives. And, oh, no, no, we'll start with, like, Italian um, pickup lines so that you can start like asking like guys out and, and people and oh. I just, I okay what have I gotten myself into do you want her to be so Italian then <laughs> yes you should you should what now Daniel knows Italian too Who are you learning from? I didn't teach you. Oh. Huh. Bella, ciao, so Bella, ciao. <laughs> ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella, ciao. Italy, what did we say about singing? Germany. <laughs> I will come up there and smack you. Germany. I'm having fun. I'll, smack you. I have, I'll throw I'll throw a little dance party up here. I'll be like I'll be like <laughs> Don't make me come over there. You won't come over here, it's too much. <laughs> Try me. It's just have fun. Italy, you need to behave. And just dance. She's being dancing. unprofessional. So, la la la, mama. Da na 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 na. na. <gasps> she's actually coming, guys. <laughs> mama. Da na 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 na. Da na da na. Da na da 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 da. Fun. It's like so dead in the chat, you know. Lock the door. <laughs> I know. I should, but I think it's broken. I wonder what. <laughs> Any more questions? We have about ten minutes left.
I don't want to leave. You guys are so fun to talk to. Well, maybe you can. <clears throat> yeah, we need to take a nice siesta. Nice little siesta. I'm going for a run after this. Already? Yeah. I always take a run around 7. It's a very nice time of night. It's not too, too cold and dark, but it's like evening. Italy? <laughs> what? You need to stay awake. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about my nap, and then I just got... <laughs> oh well. Grand Pearl Roman is our grand fight. Oh, Grand Pearl. Hi, Shimana. Um, how are you in Spain doing? Just fine. Always checking on how I'm doing. I can take care of myself. And how is your sister? Where, where is she? Uh, I have no clue, actually. I have a feeling she's out with um, Spain and France or some group of people, something like that. Maybe America and Denmark. I don't know. I think she's out drinking. It, it's Saturday, right? Yeah, so she's probably out drinking. Good. Mm -hmm. I will join her later, maybe. I don't know. It's I love going out drinking with Jill Chin, but I also don't exactly enjoy her company with like who she um hangs out with all the time. Like Spain and France are fine but puts the three of them together and sometimes it gets a little you know you know what I mean. So we'll That's see. So fun. Don't don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> don't ever catch me drunk. You don't want to know what happens when she's drunk. Oh, I know. <laughs> because sometimes all three of them crash here. <laughs> I think or it here. At my house and half the time it's yours. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever hey, seen them drunk, Italia? Have I seen them drunk? Yeah. Um, I, they, um, I come over sometimes to visit, and then they're hanging out, so then I know, oh, they're hanging out, and they're, they're drunk a lot, but it's fun, because then they get me to drink, too, and, like, we all hang out and have a good time, and it's very fun, very fun. And favorite holiday? Uh, 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 oh, I know. I would say Christmas, but actually, I think Valentine's Day because then that's a day of love, and I can just go over to everyone that I love and give them chocolates and sweets and fun stuff and tell them I love them because they are loved.
I guess I'd have to say Krishna. It's a nice time. Um, I don't know about myself. I don't really have favorites. All days are nice, but they're also not because then it's like out of routine. But you guys got any quick embarrassing stories of each other? Don't Italy is scared of the pasta monster. <laughs> What? The pasta monster is the one under your bed. Aren't you also hey, wait, afraid of that Christmas monster from Germany? What was it called? Yeah. Okay. Krampus. That's what it was called. I remember, but it's scary. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, they make me scared. I can't sleep tonight if you keep talking about this. I remember also Julchen taking all of Romana's tomatoes and her just like freaking out. I don't know if that's embarrassing, but I, I, it would be for me if I, I was caught doing that. <laughs> One time, um, Germany, I came over his house and he was out of it okay she she was out of sex she was out of it okay she was sleeping in for hours okay so i came over it was like 12 in the noon and she her hair was all messed up and she was like she woke up and she was like oh, my hair and she was like she like ran out and had to like fix it she was like oh, this isn't proper or whatever and it was so funny. It was so funny to watch. I think she was drunk. <laughs> I must have been, because I don't remember that. <gasps> um... I think Romana froze on us. Oh no. Um, try to think if I have any last minute also embarrassing stories about Italy. Um, she thought. No, I, I won't say it's her. What? Oh, look, another question. If you had to choose, <laughs> which Italy? Oh, well. North. <gasps> Yay! Not Germany! North that I don't like Romano, but I just, yeah. I'm very close with Feliciana. That's true. Which Germanic? Well, I love Big Sister Prussia, but I have to pick Germany because we go way back. We go way back. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> no, no, bringing that back. <laughs> Stop. Stop. It's the new salute. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's not happening. I'll yeah. come up and smack you again. <laughs> Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't come up, okay? Well, it's, but. it's 7 o'clock. We gotta go, and I'm gonna come smack you. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks for having <sighs> us. <laughs> bye. Ciao.